Hello, I'm Yasser Janab, interventional cardiologist from Tehran Heart Center, presenting the topic in spontaneous coronary artery duxation or SCAD from Cardiology in Practice series. A SCAD is a rare non atherosclerotic cause of ACS and up to 0.4% of all ACS cases could be a SCAD and especially 25% of all ACS cases in women under 50 year old could be a SCAD there are three types of SCAD the first type or type 1 the longitudinal filling defect representing the radiolucent intimal flap as you can see in this patient both LA L6 and LAD arteries have type 1 dissections you can see the typical flap and true lumen and false lumen in L6 and LAD. In another patient, you can see type 1 SCAT mid to distal portion of LAD. Especially in patients with tortuous coronary arteries, these diseases are this disease is more prevalent. And the second type uh, is diffuse lying smooth tubular lesions due to intramural hematoma with no visible dissection plan. As you can see in the RCA, there is long smooth tubular mid portion also in PLB and in PDA arteries. In another patient, you can see the long, smooth tubular lesions of a lady. The SCAD continues to the last segments of a lady. And the type 3 has a multiple focal tubular lesion uh, due to intramural hematoma that could mimic atherosclerosis. In these cases, intravascular imaging is required to make the diagnosis. Type 3, the least common. In the last edition of ESC guidelines, CAD is mentioned, and in these patients, all of the types, type 1, 2, or 3, if they have obstruction or they, they have reduced coronary flow, intervention has a room, or if there is a high risk anatomy, uh, an intervention, either PCR or CAB, could be considered. Otherwise, uh, we could treat them medically and uh, consider intracoronary angiography or coronary CT angiography for patient follow-up. During angiography or intervention these patients, we could consider that these patients have more fragile coronary artery walls and meticulous attention to angiography technique is required to avoid catheter-induced dissection in these patients and also deep catheter intubation should be especially avoided. Thanks for your watch.